This is the third part of history, chapter 1, class 10th, the rise of nationalism in Europe. In this video lecture, we will talk about the social and cultural revolutions that took place across Europe, the age of revolutions from 1830 to 1848. These revolutions were led by the liberal nationalists who belonged to the educated middle class, they were professors, school teachers, clerks and members of the commercial middle classes. The first revolution took place in France in July 1830. After the defeat of Napoleon in 1815, the Bourbon kings, the brothers of the executed Louis XVI, Louis XVIII and Charles X were restored to power in France. They were highly conservative. The July Revolution was started to overthrow the conservative Bourbon monarchy in France and established a new constitutional monarchy under the more moderate nobleman, Louis Philippe. This revolution gave rise to the Belgium Revolution. Belgium Revolution Around the same time, in 1830, there was also a revolution in Brussels, Belgium. At that time, Belgium was part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, but the people of Brussels didn't want King William I anymore. They regarded King William I's rule as tyrannic rule. So they fought for their independence and created their own country. In 1831, Leopold of Saxe Coburg became the first king of the Belgians. The country adopted a constitutional monarchy and established itself as a separate country from the Netherlands. Next significant revolution was the Greek War of Independence. The Greek War of Independence, also known as the Greek Revolution, the Greek Revolution was started in 1821 by the Greek people against the Ottoman Empire, which ruled over them. The Greeks wanted to be free and have their own country. They fought in battles and received help from other countries like Britain, France and Russia. The war lasted from 1821 to 1829, the Greeks won, and they got their own land back. In 1832, there was an important agreement called the Treaty of Constantinople. This agreement said that Greece was now its own separate and independent country, not under the control of the Ottoman Empire anymore. The Treaty of Constantinople of 1832 was a formal agreement between several powerful countries and the Ottoman Empire. It recognized the efforts of the Greek people who had fought for their independence from Ottoman rule and led to the establishment of the modern Greek state. In short, July Revolution 1830 July Revolution took place in France in July 1830. After the defeat of Napoleon in 1815, the Bourbon kings, the brothers of the executed Louis XVI, Louis XVIII and Charles X were restored to power in France. They were highly conservatives. July Revolution was started to overthrow the conservative monarchy in France and established a new constitutional monarchy under the more moderate nobleman, Louis Philippe. Belgium Revolution 1830, Belgium Revolution was erupted in Brussels, Belgium. At that time, Belgium was part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, the people regarded King William I's rule as tyrannic rule. They fought for their independence and created their own separate country from the Netherlands. In 1831, Leopold of Saxe Coburg became the first king of the Belgians. The country adopted a constitutional monarchy and established itself as an independent country. Greek War of Independence 1821-1829 Greek Revolution was started in 1821 by the Greek people against the Ottoman Empire. The Greeks wanted to be free and have their own country. They received help from other countries like Britain, France and Russia. The Greeks won and they got their own land back. Treaty of Constantinople Treaty of Constantinople was a formal agreement between several powerful countries and the Ottoman Empire in 1832. It recognized the efforts of the Greek people who had fought for their independence from Ottoman rule and led to the establishment of the modern Greek state.